Hello, this is Anna with Super Awesome Cool Pottery, drawing fish for the first day of Inktober. I start my sketch I always map out where everything goes with basic shapes like using the circle to make kind of the whole body of the fish and then from there I went on to add like other details but I map them out in a big way so that it's really rough at first I don't want to put in fine details at the beginning of my sketch that way if anything doesn't seem like it matches up I didn't put a ton of work into it so it doesn't hurt like my soul to <laughs> erase it.
So now I'm taking a um, watercolor brush that like keeps the water in the handle. And I've actually filled this with a solution of ink and water to make an ink wash. And I'm kind of blocking out my shadows. I'm just figuring out where I want my darks to be and where I want my lights to be and like my mid-tones. Um, I'm mostly blocking out my mid-tones because I have a darker ink brush that I use for all my darkest darks and I have a white, uh, a white pen, I mean, for my lightest lights. I decided to draw an angler fish for day one fish because they seem really creepy and I don't know, ever since I saw one in Finding Nemo when I was a kid, they seemed like the most fascinating fish, fish I've ever seen in my life. So as I grew up, I just kind of like looked more into them every once in a while and yeah, I just aesthetically or creepiness value definitely feel like it fits in with the spooky theme of October. So that's why I decided to draw the angler fish. Thank you.
really love this ink brush that I'm using because because of the tip, it can make you have really like fat solid lines or really thin solid lines. And I just love that because I can get so much line variety and it really makes my work like pop out more. It makes me happy. <laughs> so I'm a, one of my favorite brushes to use whenever I'm inking. Uh, just because you get so much line variety just with one brush. I don't have to go through so many different like pens and things to make my line variety like more. Or so I don't have to like have more line variety. I do it all in just one one pen with one stroke. I don't have to go back over and over and over or switch between different pens. The only thing I really need to switch between is whenever I'm trying to use something like the ink wash for the mid tones instead of having really dark marks. hatching marks to really make my really dark because anglerfish live at the ocean pretty much. They're really deep part of the ocean so it's really dark down there and they can't see. Um, so I, I need to show that through my mark making that instead of like black paper. So I use cross hatching make really dark but also uh, later you'll see that I vary my marks by making them wider or closer together to show some light coming up and that's because they have that light on top of their head to attract uh, other fish. So I wanted to show line, or not line, but light in my drawing through the mark making.
back in my ink wash to kind of darken up some of my spots, I noticed that the paper really absorbed like everything and the ink wasn't coming out as dark as I wanted it to. So I kept on going back over it every once in a while and you'll probably see me do that a lot because I just really wanted it to be a little bit darker, honestly. But I really enjoy the way it came out.
I'm going back in with my ink brush and I'm just kind of going over the more fine details of my drawing to add the last little finishing touches. And I really wanted some of these hash marks to be like really, what's the word I'm looking for? Really like, I really wanted to like jump out and like be so dark and like really catch your eye and just look really cool. <laughs> This has been Anna with Super Awesome Cool Pottery, drawing fish for the first day of Inktober.
Hope you liked it.